Hey, hey what's, what's up, up guys? guys? Soup here. here. If we get the video to 2k likes, I'll keep using my girl voice. If not, you're stuck with me, you parasites. We're going to start off today's episode with the completion of Eagle's Peak 2500 Hunter XP, as well as two quest points. We can use the Eagle transportation system, which is very rarely used, but the animation when you're traveling on an Eagle is actually pretty cool. If I ever use it, I'll make sure to put it in. But we're at the 161 quest points now. We're only less than, I think, 15 away now from the Barrow's Gloves, but just want to get this one out of the way. It's pretty easy and some free Hunter XP. It should get me to 30. Yep. There we go. We can now catch nothing, but we can do Salamanders now, which is going to speed up the process. Next big level coming up, 35 construction, which allows us to do the Cold War quest. So to get this, I just chopped a bunch of oak logs and then turned them into planks at the Varrock Sawmill at that lumber yard up there. There we go, 35. Can now do Cold, cold War. Now, it was actually sort of expensive because per inventory of oak log that I had to switch to planks, I think it was like 6k or so, I needed about 300 oak logs to get up to here. I ended up using some regular planks as well that I picked up at the fishing trawler, but 35, I guess it was worth getting it done. Don't have to worry about it now. Ugh, alright, this one was a bit of a longer grind. This should get us 50, okay, this should get us 53 thieving. There we go. That is now the requirement for desert treasure, which is why we can pickpocket the desert bandits. Now I did 51 to 53 all at the ham guards, the ham store key guard lair people, mainly because I really need money. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the jewelry that I pickpocketed from uh, two levels here. Here we have the final loot from the two levels. We're going to go sell that to the jewelry store, hopefully make a couple hundred cap. That's actually pretty decent for if I were to sell this stuff on the Grand Exchange, but this is going to be a nice little cash stack. I think we can buy our dragon scimitar with it or scimitar. However you want to say it. And yeah, nice little cash infusion into the account. All right, here we go. Final selling 198k, almost 200k from all that. Could have had a bit more, I think. But I left early some trips just to get the keys uh, used up and just out of my inventory. But here we go, 198k. Pretty nice. Couple hours and we got 53 thieving, which is used for desert treasure, like I said. Here should end the 60 fishing grind. Wow, this one sort of sucked, but it wasn't too bad at Shiloh. Just doing these raw trout and salmon. So 60 wasn't really anything special to get. I think 63 is the level I need for Swan Song, but I can boost with that. I can boost from 60 to 63 with a fish pie, I think, for Swan Song, which is awesome. So we get that requirement out of the way. And also, since I need 70 cooking for RFD, I can boost it from 65, but I probably will boost it to like, I'll probably get it to like 66, 67, just in case. But here we have the raw trout and salmon from about four or five levels here. 800 raw salmon, 1200 raw trout. These should get me hopefully in the high 60s. I'm not really sure. I'm going to go cook them at the rogue's den. But yeah, this grind is over. Oh, this grind is over. Sorry. And uh, first 60 skill or second 60 skill I get is fishing. I thought the salmon would get us closer to 65, but it looks like we're going to get to 62. I think I need to fish a couple more levels. Oh, I can do monkfish now. Nice. I think I need to fish a couple more things before I can get to 65 cooking, but still got one more inventory left. Not sure if I'm going to go back to fishing right away. Might try to get some quests done, but I still think we might get a couple more fishing levels before we finish off 65. I'm wondering if it might be better just to go to swordfish or just fish lobsters for the remainder, get a bit more cooking XP, but it's going to be slower on the fishing. I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll see. All right, here's the Temple of Ikov quest complete. Whoa, that's a lot of range XP. Didn't expect that. And 8,000 fletching. This should get me a couple range levels, three range levels, and two or one of, oh, light bullets, look at that, and one or two fletching levels, nice. So this is the last quest requirement, I believe, for Desert Treasure. We have everything done. I want to get my combat up a little bit before I do the quest just to be safe, but another quest knocked out, 162 quest points. Quest is awful, Watchtower quest. I forgot how long it is. Okay, that should finish it up. There we go, 15k magic XP. Is that a level? No, almost though. Thank you so much. Finish off the quest, please. 15k magic, 5k coins. Get the watchtower teleport scroll and four quest points. I don't know is that many. 166 now, 15k magic could get us 1.3k away from 50. I think I just said could get us. It does get us 1.3k away. Quest complete. Definitely a nice one to get done. We have access to the watchtower teleport, even though I don't think it's that big of a deal to have it done. Troll stronghold complete. Don't really get anything great from it. We have the ability to make law runes, which we don't really need at the moment but i'm just getting all these low level quests out of the way that i just need to get done i'm not really a huge fan of the troll quest series i don't really like doing them i never really enjoyed it there's other ones i'd rather do but i think we can maybe do troll romance after this i don't think we can do edgar's rouge yet we need a higher herbal level for that 
But we're getting close to the 170 mark. We're going to do that before we knock off Desert Treasure. I keep saying we're going to do Desert Treasure. I just keep putting it off because I want to get all these other quests done before I start it. And we might as well just finish Troll Romance. I'm too scared. There we go. Hey, oh, wow. Agility. Should Oh, I thought it was going to 60. No, nope, but 4,000 strength. Don't get any levels. Seven uncut gems. And two quest points. 169. Nice. Finish off the Throne of Miscellanea quest. Uh, don't really need it at the moment. I am going to use it definitely when I get to 1 million coins at least. I can probably use it when I get a bit less. I see a bunch of people investing early on into uh, Kingdom, which I really want to do right now. I just don't have the cash stack for it, but that puts us at 170 quest points. I think two more quests, including Desert Treasure, will get us at the exact level we need for Barrow's Gloves. I keep saying it, but I keep putting it off, and I keep mentioning that I keep putting it off, but guys, it's really hurting me. I need to get it done. 62 fishing is not that big of a deal but is the required level i need for swan song we get that out of the way like i said earlier i thought that i had the enough fishing levels and enough salmon and trout to get me to 65 cooking but i wasn't even close but we can now fish monkfish which is going to be useful when we finish that quest in the future it's gonna be something we can afk if we ever manage to get to that point without dying but there we go 62 fishing 65 cooking we just had enough for 65 with the raw lobsters we had i don't think we have enough for 66 so we're going to have to rely on a plus 5 boost, most likely from a spicy stew, unless I decide to fish for a little bit more and get like 66 or 67 to play it safe. But there we go, 65, big level, pineapple pizza, wine, and zammies, and most importantly, we have the minimum level for RFD now. There we go, desert treasure complete, just kidding, observatory quest. Totally just realized that I've been brain farting the past three days in prep for desert treasure. You need, I think, 12 magic logs for the quest. And one of the few ways to get on the Iron Man is to either chop it or catch them from nature implings. And to catch nature impling, you need like 58 hunter or something. So I need to get hunter up before I start Desert Treasure. I'm not sure if I'll do that right now or if I'll get some other quest done. But I missed an important detail. Not surprised. Don't make any jokes about me, please. Or else. For those of you that have done Olaf's quest, you probably remember this bridge here. It's one of the most annoying things ever because you fall off of it very often. Uh, usually it's too slippery and even with the high agility level you have to completely run around back to this area to go over this bridge again however this is my first time across and i haven't fallen yet i have like three steps left so wish me luck maybe i'll have the video luck two more oh my god it happened this is the first time ever that i have never fallen off this bridge ever that's awesome 59 agility does the trick. I thought this quest only gives you the 20k reward, but I'm pretty sure it actually gives you... There we go. 12,000 defense XP. Why does it say 12k instead of 12,000? I feel like I'm, when you complete a lot of quests, it says the actual full number, not with the k. But on this one, it does. We get 20k, though, which is, I guess, a decent amount of money for us right now. Four rubies, we have access to this cave now, which doesn't really matter until we get the Slayer level to kill Brine Rats. But 12k should get us a defense level... 63 combat, 51 defense, don't really get anything on it, but nice, didn't have to train that. And another quest complete, 173 quest points. All right, there we go, quest complete, one quest point, 2k crafting, 5k agility. Well, you only get 1.5k construction for that. I feel like that, that's lame, that's a terrible reward. And we can now build a penguin suit. I don't know if we'll use that in the future unless we do the agility course. Do we get any items? No levels off that, not even a construction level. Wow, this was not even worth it for how long it took. Plate legs and black full helm from our second ever easy clue. This would have been nice to have for Heroes Quest, but unfortunately, we already did that quest. I don't know how much they alk for. Probably not that much, but I guess it's something. Here we got this quest complete. Get Edgar's Ruse done. 11,000 Herbal Arcs. We got the Trollheim teleport now as well, which is going to be really useful because we don't have to constantly use that path up there anymore. 11,000 gets us... Oh, it's only to 42. I thought it'd be like mid-40s. Whatever, I can't complain. It's free Herbal XP. Nice quest to get done. Only one quest point, though, but we're at 175. Technically, we could get Barrow's Gloves now, but actually, no, we couldn't. It's the fun. It's just the number that everybody associates with it. So there we go. 42 Herbal Arc. Any potions? Prayer Restore mix. Nothing special. There we go. Making history should be complete now. Three quest points, 1,000 prayer crafting, and 750 gold coins. You can use the enchanted key all over RuneScape. Visit the Silver Trader for help. I'm not really sure. I feel like you used this for the ghostly robes or something. I don't even remember. Uh, no levels off this. We get crafting XP, though. And prayer. No, we're really close to a prayer level, which doesn't even matter. But we need 3.7k for the hand and the sand quest, which we want to get done. But there we go. 178 quest points. Getting close to the 200. Finished rat catchers. This quest actually isn't too bad if you have a Hellcat. It's just very tedious. So you have to go to a lot of different places. Lots of random dialogue. Two quest points puts us at 180 quest points, 70 quest points to go. 
4,500 thieving gets us pretty much nothing, but we can get Wily Cats now, which is pretty OP. Wily Cats are really good for getting stews and fighting against those bosses in Evil Dave's Dungeon. Quest complete. Wow.